Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do an After Dark reading. I haven't done an After Dark reading in like a while. Could have been a couple of weeks or so. So, um, today is Thursday, February the 4th. Um, So my after dark reading hours is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. Um, this is Divine Feminine versus the Karmic. So keep in mind that Divine Feminine energy could also resonate with the, the with a Divine Masculine. If he's in his feminine energy, whenever the energy uh, manifests or resonates with you. So um, also keep in mind that the also, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So, this reading can manifest um, to, after our hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time after tonight. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. Um, if this present reading is past energy for you, then it might be answers or closure for you. In this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So also, I know uh, some of you guys as well, um, y'all don't live in the, the same time zone as me. So it could be, um, it's, it's probably not after dark hours for you guys. So um, it just depends. Um, so you guys can apply this reading when it's after dark hours for you. Or you can take this reading as current energy or current me messages. Um, however you see fit. So, let me back this up a little bit. Um, some of y'all could be um, drinking tomorrow. Because I don't know why, but uh, when I clicked on the, the reading, I wanted to say something. Like, I'm getting me a drink tomorrow. <laughs> um, I, I felt... It was like a urge or a nudge. And it's like I wanted to say it. So some of you guys, um, I don't know if you guys could be preparing. You guys could be having a party or uh, or whatever. But it was like a strong urge for me to say that. Um, so um, I don't know. I might give me a drink tomorrow. Um, or that's what, you know, some of you guys is doing. Um, you guys could be getting drinks and stuff for tomorrow, for Friday or something like that or something. I kind of like was thinking about that. I think, it was, I think it was yesterday. I'm like, do I want to go get me some wine? But I was like, nah, nah. But I don't know. Time will tell. So, so, um, I did get like a message during the pre-shuffle and, um, somebody could, could be getting some bad news after the hours tonight. Divine Feminine, you were the karmic. Um, but somebody is definitely protected. Is at the bottom of the deck, 444. Um, Spirit also told me to, um, pull... Two to three cards. I'm going to see this energy. I think I might start doing it. But um, Spirit told me to pull the cards to see when this energy will resonate for you. So I also want to let y'all know before I pull the cards. To me as a reader, sometimes the swords, to me, the swords can be seconds. Um, The swords usually can represent like a week. But sometimes to me, them swords... To me, it's like seconds. So, um, uh, so we're going to see what come out for you guys. Um, when this energy, um, might resonate with you guys. So, like, if the swords come out, I'm just switching it around a little bit. Concerning, like, the swords. Um, yeah. So let me just see how it go. Look, and the sword is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> so some of you guys, this reading might resonate uh, or manifest for you guys in two weeks or like in 
like after dark hours tonight. Yeah, because sometimes those swords to me can represent like seconds or minutes. Because swords are quick. <clears throat> okay. So let me just jump into the reading. So I'm going to pull you guys the angel number for after dark. Did I say my after dark reading hours? I gear from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, Spirit, what's Divine Feminine's angel number for after dark hours tonight? All right. So, so reversals. Um, 111. So, Divine Feminine, your energy coming out in reverse. This could be like Divine Protection. Or you could be having a hard time with this energy. So, you're not being creative after dark hours tonight. So, Divine Feminine, angels are not ready are not ready to fully support you in some endeavor. So, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, y'all might get delayed. Whatever you guys was... Let me... Put that on silent. So, some of you guys are going to be delayed. It's for your um protection. Some type of creativity is going to be delayed. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you could have been thinking about something. But it might slip your mind. Um, it's for your protection. Because your angels is not ready. Or it's not the time for something. So Divine Feminine, you could also be trying to do something out of Divine Timing. Yeah, because your angels is not ready. So it's like, you might get confused. Or you might forget or something. Or something not going to work out or something. But it's for your protection. Um, or you just could be all right in this energy and it's like you're not being creative after dark hours tonight you just could be chilling out or something like that because the angels are not ready to support you so divine feminine you have some type of idea or something or an idea is going to come to you but it's not the right time because the angels they're not ready right now for whatever reason or it's just not the right time All right, what's the karmic angel angel number for after dark hours tonight? So 10, 10, yeah. Um, I think for the past, I'm trying to remember. It could have been the past week or so. Um, I got like a download, like a, a minor download that is something to do with angel number 10, 10. It's like a karmic energy. Or something like that. This 10 10. And I was coming out. So, yeah. It, I don't know if it started last month or like maybe two weeks ago. But two weeks ago, too, was last month. But Spirit revealed that to me like 10, them 10s, like 10 10. That's like karmic energy or it's a, or the karmic or something like that. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, 1010. The, this is for the karmic. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. Okay. So, the karmic is being patient. Divine Feminine, the karmic could be waiting on you. So, Divine Feminine, you could be working with, like, angels that work for the light. And the karmic could be dealing with angels that work for the dark. Like, something like that. Um, so, the karmic could be dealing with, like, demons or something. Divine Feminine, you was probably going to collaborate with the karmic. But your angels is keeping you away from the karmic angels. So, that's the scenario, too, for some of you guys. All right, so I'm going to pull a three. So, Spirit, when is this uh, energy going to manifest or this reading? So, for some of you guys, it's going to manifest in eight days. Yeah, so some of you guys, um, 
this energy is going to manifest after the hours tonight. Yeah, that Queen of Swords. So I think what I'm gonna do after the hours tonight, um, I'm gonna just say that the Swords represent tonight. So the Swords to me, like I said, sometimes the Swords can to me can represent seconds, minutes, or sometimes hours. So this for some of you guys, this this reading is gonna um resonate with you after the hours tonight. Yep, and then we got yeah. Yep, that four swords, yeah. Alright, give me one more. Yeah, seven of swords, yeah. So one group of you all, this after our reading is not going to resonate with you until eight days from today. For other you guys, it's happening tonight. For some of you guys, an hour. And other you guys, like, in seven hours. So, what time is it where I'm at? It's 9 o'clock? I think it's like 9 o'clock. Or it can be, um, so for example, say like, whatever time y'all stumble across this reading, it's going to resonate an hour after. For some of you guys, it's going to resonate seven hours after y'all stumble across this reading. Or seven minutes or seven seconds or something like that. But um I picked up intuitively after our hours tonight, these swords is ours. Yeah. So something significant about the swords energy. And it could be for the divine feminine and or the karmic or just the situation in general. <laughs> So two groups of you guys is definitely going to manifest after the hours tonight. For two groups of you guys, for other, another group of you guys, the third group of you guys is going. This reading is going to resonate with you in eight days. All right, give me a message for divine feminine. Oh, okay, I see now. All right, yeah, divine feminine, you could be having a hard time. Divine feminine, you not too sure about this karmic so you're not sure if this karmic like is a positive friend to you or you could be trying to make friends with this karmic but it's like the karmic don't be don't want to be your friend or divine feminine you're not sure if this karmic is a like a positive uplifting friend to you okay so positive uplifting new friends so divine feminine you could be having a hard time making like um high vibrational new friends divine feminine Or you're not sure about somebody. You're not sure if somebody's like a new, like a positive, uplifting friend. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you're not going to change something right now. I also just picked up intuitively, Divine Feminine, this karmic was waiting for you to tell them something. But Divine Feminine, you might choose not to. Or Divine Feminine, you're going to forget altogether. This karmic is waiting on you, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys. This karmic is waiting on to collaborate with you, work with you. Or this, but I heard intuitively for some of you guys, you were supposed to tell this karmic something, but it's like divine feminine, you might forget, or you're just delaying something, or you might literally forget, or something like that. Or divine feminine, for some of you guys, y'all could be a man, don't have to be. But this karmic, for some of y'all, is y'all lover. And Divine Feminine, you saying, I'm not making no sacrifice for you. I'm not sacrificing for you. Or Divine Feminine, you saying, give me a reason why I should sacrifice something for you. So, the for some of you guys, the Divine Feminine energy is a man. And this karmic wants you to marry them. And Divine Masculine, you like... Uh, so, it's like Divine Masculine, what's going on is in, you're in your feminine energy. And you could be dating this karmic or something, and she wants you to marry her. And it's like Divine Masculine, you like, no, nah, I'm not sacrificing for you. Or I got to see, or um, Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, this karmic is not your Divine Feminine. So your love for this karmic is not natural. It's, it's like 
It's like Divine Masculine, you trying to work yourself up to like love this karmic or something. But it's not, it's just not there. It's, it's, it's not natural. It's not there. <laughs> and it's for a reason. If y'all date this karmic, the karmic family probably don't like you. Or the karmic family is not being nice to you. If y'all date this karmic. So, or the karmic friends don't like you. If y'all dating this karmic, it's the karmic family that's not being nice to you. Or it's the karmic friends that's not being nice to y'all. Or y'all don't trust the karmic family. Or y'all don't trust the karmic friends. Or something like that. So, for some of y'all, this karmic is like a lover. And yeah, we got married on the... Um, some of y'all could be married because it's karmic. Divine masculine or divine feminine. For some of y'all, y'all could be cheating with this karmic. And y'all married. And this karmic trying to get y'all to commit to them. As if you're married to them. So this karmic could be putting y'all under pressure as well. But it's like y'all married. Or something like that. So y'all might have to let this karmic go. If y'all cheating on y'all spouse or something like that. This karmic could be doing spell work on y'all, putting y'all under some type of pressure. Y'all need to let this karmic go if y'all married and y'all cheating. Because this karmic is not, uh, uh, or something like that. Mm-mm. All right. What's going on with Divine Feminine Past Life? Give me a past life for Divine Feminine. Okay, so Atlantis. So Divine Feminine, you have some type of ties concerning your past life to Atlantis. As well, in this lifetime, Divine Feminine, you could have a liking to Atlantis. Or you're curious about Atlantis. Or maybe you study Atlantis. In this lifetime. Because you could have um, past ties to Atlantis. All right. Give me a uh, past life for the karmic. Two came out. Yeah, this karmic. <laughs> this karmic could be a Gemini. Or this karmic could be y'all false twin. Um, This karmic in a past life was an orphan. Or this karmic in a past life could have caused harm to your parents, Divine Feminine, or one of your parents, or both of them. Or this karmic could have been like your caretaker when you became an orphan in your past life. Or this karmic was an orphan. Or could have took care of orphans or something. But this karmic was def definitely a high priest of some sort. Or a priest. A priest. A priestess. A high priestess. Yeah. So this karmic in a past life uh, could have been an orphan. Or the karmic's mother could have been a high priest, a high priestess or some sort, the karmic mother. Oh, let me pick a message for the karmic. But I'm kind of picking up, for some of you guys, Divine Feminine, you were orphan. You was an orphan in your past life because of this karmic. This karmic could have did dark magic on you in the past. Or this karmic uh, worked for the dark or something. So this karmic could have been a reason why you became an orphan in your past life. Of some sort. Or it's like Divine Feminine. Um, in this present life, this karmic maybe could be your parent or Divine Feminine. And Spirit wants you to stay away from this karmic because it's like this karmic is going to be the reason why your kids is or are orphan. So Divine Feminine, if one of your kids' other parent is already deceased, stay away from this karmic. Stay away from this karmic. But it all depends, though, because um, some people say an orphan is a person that lost both parents. And then I read other, defini other definitions of an orphan. 
and some people definition of an orphan is some is someone who only lost a father and then other people believe an orphan is someone who lost both parents but i just picked up intuitively divine feminine if you in this lifetime have lost one of your kids parent if you if your kid or your children's other parent is already deceased stay away from this karmic because it's like this karmic gonna end up doing harm to you and then your kids is going to be an orphan or this karmic might do harm to your kid's father or something like that of some sort <clears throat> So divine feminine, for some of you guys, you a female and this karmic could be a man and he could be a warlock of some sort. And it's like this karmic like you and he might do spell work on your child's father or your husband or something or something. Y'all stay away from this karmic. Whatever the scenario is, I'm picking up stay away from this karmic. All right. What's the message for the karmic? I will watch over you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See? So this wolf moon energy could be watching over the karmic. The karmic could be a Capricorn or got Capricorn placements as well. Or divine feminine. This karmic think this karmic want to watch over you. So some of y'all be careful. But it's like this karmic going to do some dark magic to like try to protect you, divine feminine. Or it's like this karmic trying to protect you from your parents or the karmic trying to protect your kids from their other parent. But this karmic a little crazy. This karmic do dark magic. And this karmic talking about they'll watch over you. Uh-uh. So divine feminine, this karmic could have approached you or something, or you wanted this karmic to do some type of protection work for you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Somebody gonna be an orphan fooling with this karmic. I also seen the cards pertaining to y'all past life energy. Divine feminine, you and this karmic don't really got nothing in common. You and this karmic don't got nothing in common. So uh, stay away from this karmic. So I'ma just give like a a logical perspective about this this atlantis energy divine feminine say like you into scuba diving and you listen to tarot or you might do tarot cards and divine feminine that's all you do this your hobby and you study atlantis divine feminine this karma gonna come to you talking about something else this karma gonna come to you talking about stuff you, you never heard of or something like that stay away from this karmic Divine Feminine, you like, all I do is I go scuba diving for a living and I read cards and that's it. Um, a, Yeah. It's like Divine Feminine, your life is like simple or has been simplified. And this karma going to complicate something or something like that. So, this karma probably want to do some type of work for you. Or this karma want to date you or something like that. Or this karmic want to be your, uh, be your lover or be like your kid's step parent or something. Y'all yeah, have nothing in common. Okay, so let me pull a life purpose. Spirit, give me a life purpose connected to uh divine feminine's uh act uh past life. Okay, so practice. So, polish your skills by practicing regularly. Yeah. 
Divine Feminine, this karmic might approach you and ask you, do you want like some type of enhancement concerning whatever you practicing? Divine Feminine, tell this karmic no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Polish your skills by practicing re regularly. Okay. So Divine Feminine, Spirit is telling you to practice regularly. Like, do something regularly. This karmic might say to you, why do you go swimming every week, seven days out of the week? This comment might say, I can fix it to where you only going to have to go practice swimming twice a week. Once a year, twice a week. Divine Feminine told this karmic, no. Spirit wants you to polish your skills by practicing regularly. And this karmic might say something to you to help you speed something up or something. Mm -mm. So Divine Feminine is like, do your shadow work naturally. Whatever this practice is, do it natural. Because this karmic going to bring something to you that's not natural. Or something like that. So, divine feminine, whatever your life purpose is, whatever you're doing now, you're in, you're practicing, you're doing some sort of practice. Whatever your life purpose is, maybe y'all could play the flute, but you practice. And divine feminine, whatever this karmic, for some of you guys, this karmic might suggest something to you, and don't, don't stay away from this karmic or something. At least after our hours tonight. Or oh, this comment might ask you to purchase something from them. Mm -mm. This comment um put hexes and stuff on a uh whatever this is. So the one from that say like you practicing the flute, because maybe your life purpose is music. So you just practicing the flute or whatever. And this comment like, oh, I got a flute. I sell flutes or something, magical flutes or something. It's like divine feminine, this karmic, uh-uh. Something is not natural with what this karmic is doing. It's like, whatever you purchase from this karmic is not going to be natural. It got some sort of demonic attachment to it. Because <laughs> this karmic feel as though they're going to watch over you. Or something like that. And that's why your angels is like, mm-mm. So, for some of you guys, y'all need to tell this karmic no. Just, like, after our hours tonight. Or, like, all together. Like, don't deal with this karmic. Don't interact with this karmic. All right. What's the karmic's life purpose pertaining to their past life that came out? Support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Mm-hmm. Whoa. This karmic probably astro travel. Or this karmic travel for a living. Or this karmic astro travel or something. The karmic's life purpose involves traveling. So Divine Feminine, maybe this karmic might suggest that they want to teach you. Divine Feminine, if this karmic your lover and they, they say, you want me to teach you how to astro travel or astro project? Divine Feminine, tell this karmic no. Or this karmic might say, oh, uh, I can get you some tickets or some free tickets, uh, train tickets. Or this karmic do something with traveling. Um, Divine Feminine, if this karmic is a potential lover, if this karmic purchase you something or do you a favor or give you a discount, be careful of this karmic. Because this karmic might put a spell on you because they purchased you like an airplane ticket or something. This karmic think they yours. It's like this karmic think they own you because they did a favor for you on a natural. So it's like this karmic going to bind you on a spiritual level because they did you an earthly favor or something like that. Or this karmic be uh, astro traveling or something this karmic do. And it's like, it's like demons that support this karmic. The karmic's life purpose fully supports the karmic. But it's like demonic. So 
So I'm picking up Divine Feminine. This karmic is like asking y'all something. <laughs> and it's something to do with a purchase. This karmic probably sells something. Oh, this karmic asks you, do you need help? Or this karmic saying, I'll teach you how to do something or something like that. Mm-mm. And I also see the difference, Divine Feminine, from you and this karmic is water and land. Whatever that's about. So, Divine Feminine, you could be a water sign. This karmic could be an earth sign or air sign. Divine Feminine, I'm hearing if you and this karmic is not compatible... Accept the com accept the fact that that's like divine feminine. You and this karmic not being compatible. That's like your first layer of protection or your first sign to like let something go or just let something pass. So you and this karmic not being of the same er element. That's really a blessing in disguise. And don't push the issue. Don't force the issue. So I'm gonna give an example. Divine feminine say like you a water sign and this karmic like an earth sign. That's not to say that all earth signs is like this karmic. It's just that was how it was arranged for you to be able to like skip over this drama that this karmic could potentially cause you. If y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Because I'm hearing to say there's first layers to things. <laughs> like you know how warnings can get louder and louder and louder the first warning was y'all different element um y'all not compatible like that's the first layer of warning like something like if y'all understand what i'm trying to say or like y'all don't get along y'all can be the same sign but don't get along or um it's like y'all different or it's just different like y'all energy is like total opposite so, like I said, Divine Feminine, you probably do something with water in this karmic. It's like Divine Feminine, you could be a swimmer or something in this karmic. It's like Divine Feminine, you could you drive boats, this karmic drive trains or something. Like, ah, uh, something. But let's see what come out in the, uh. Um, let me get a, let me do love and romance. All right. Let me put y'all angel answer. What's the vibe from this angel answer for after our hours tonight? <laughs> Remain positive. Divine, for some of you guys, uh, Divine Feminine, I heard you guys work, like, maybe on a cruise ship or something. You guys do entertainment on a cruise ship. Or something like that. Y'all be y'all work on a cruise ship of some sort. Or something like that. So, Divine Feminine, your angel answer is to remain positive. Divine Feminine, you could have also been trying to put something together for this karmic. And it's like you just can't get yourself together. And that's for your like divine protection. So divine feminine, if you lose something, it could be like your thoughts, uh, your motivation, your drive. Divine feminine, remain positive. Don't take it personal. You lost something. It was for your protection. So the white feminine say like you um write music or you work on a cruise ship. It's like maybe you was gonna give this karmic some tickets to come on your cruise ship or something, or you was gonna write a song for this karmic. Mm-mm. No. So it's like divine feminine, whatever you if you were supposed to do a favor for this karmic, it's like 
some you, it's like divine feminine you not gonna be it's like you can't get yourself together <laughs> but i'm hearing don't take it personal it's this breakdown divine feminine is simply happening because your angel just trying to tell you don't do this favor for this karmic so divine feminine remain positive while you're confused about why you can't get yourself together <laughs> because it's not forever your angels is trying to get through to you to leave this karmic alone. You're not supposed to be interacting with this karmic or doing no favors for this karmic or something like that. Or something. But let me get into the tarot and see if it come out in the tarot what's, what's going on. What's the karmic's angel answer? Yeah, if you believe. Yeah. <sighs> so Divine Feminine... You could be a Christian of some sort, and this karmic is not. So, it's like divine feminine. This karmic, I don't know. But the angels is telling the karmic if they believe. So, this karmic, something that this karmic wants is like the karmic has must be a believer. Or something. I don't know. You and the karmic's connection. But the angel, the karmic's angel answer is if the karmic believes. So divine feminine, you could be like a Christian of some sort, and you trying to be kind to this karmic or something. And your angel is telling you leave this karmic alone, or something. Or divine feminine, you and this karmic could be of different religions or different spirituality. And this karmic want to date you. Divine feminine, mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Divine feminine, for some of y'all, I heard, take these messages as it resonate. Divine feminine, for some of you guys, I picked up, if you and this karmic is of different religions, do not marry this karmic. Do not have kids by this karmic. Because this karmic. You might find out something about this karmic. It's like this karmic. Could be a warlock of some sort. And this karmic like. Don't mind sacrifice fat sacrificing their kids or something. Or it's like if you marry this karmic. This karmic going to sacrifice you or something. And then it's like the kids you have by this karmic. Going to be orphans or something. Or, like, in the future, this karmic might do, like, try to do, like, a murder-suicide or something. <clears throat> or something. Y'all stay away from this karmic. This karmic can have a God complex, too. This karmic can have a God complex. And, um, some people with God complexes, uh, view things a certain type of way. So, people need to be careful. Um, cause they will take your life. Like people, you gotta be careful of people. Or something like that. Or for divine feminine, for some of you guys, I heard that this karmic, in the karmic's past life, they was an orphan. So in this lifetime, it's like this karmic could be very needy. It's like divine feminine, this karmic could be wanting to date you, but it's like this karmic want a parent. They don't want a lover. And at the same time, the karmic a high priestess. So it's like divine feminine. I also heard the karmic's family could be very protective over the karmic. Or it's like divine feminine. This karmic thinks they're your protector or something, but this karmic is, is, is not balanced. So it's something about this karmic that's a little toxic. And it's like uh like a god complex. It's not it's not balanced, it's toxic. So it's like divine feminine. Um this karmic can have like a not innocent, but like a childlike demeanor. But not like an innocent childlike demeanor. 
this karmic is not an earth angel. This karmic is the type of person, if you marry this karmic or date this karmic, it's like this karmic not going to want you to go nowhere. It's like this karmic going to act like a baby, and they don't want you to go nowhere. You know how babies be like, that's my mommy, that's my daddy. That's how this karmic going to be. And it's like y'all grown. <laughs> and then this karmic do dark magic. Mm-mm. <laughs> or something like that. This karmic going to be very clingy or like possessive of some sort. I also heard too another scenario is Divine Feminine. If you end up marrying this karmic or something. Because of the karmic's past life. Divine Feminine. Um, if you have kids by this karmic. This karmic might pass away too. Because of their past life. It's like somebody going to do dark magic on the karmic. And they're going to pass away. Or somebody going to do dark magic on you and the karmic. It's like Divine Feminine. You connected to this karmic. And both of you and this karmic going to pass away. Or something like that. And y'all kids gonna be orphans. Cause it happened to the karma and they passed life. A high priestess could have did something to this karma and they passed life. I also just heard Divine Feminine. For some of you guys, this karma is saying that they're your protector or they'll watch over you. But this karmic don't even know how to watch over themselves. So this it's like this karmic don't have like spiritual ranking, a higher spiritual ranking high enough. So, I heard how this karmic saying they can protect you when they don't even know how to properly protect themselves. Like, something like that. All right. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you don't mind being this karmic's friend. <clears throat> but you don't want to get too deep with this karmic, Divine Feminine, because you know you and this karmic has different uh, spiritual or religious uh, belief systems. Yeah, but Divine Feminine, I'm picking up for some of y'all. You were supposed to do a favor for this karmic. But you don't really want to really date this karmic. But you don't mind doing a favor for this karmic. But Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, y'all be careful. Because if this karmic a uh, dark high priestess, this karmic might, Divine Feminine, if you're not strong enough or if you're not properly protected, this karmic going to pull you in. All right. I also see Divine Feminine, if you work for the light and the karmic work for the dark, for some of you guys, Divine Feminine, I heard that this karmic might ask you to go out on a date, but it has something to do with traveling. So, Divine Feminine, say like you work up, you, you usually like be on a boat and this karmic like do airplanes or this karmic ride buses or trains. It's like Divine Feminine, you and this, you might travel with this karmic, like, why they at work? But Divine Feminine, you gonna get hurt. Uh, because the karmic's angels is with them, but they're demons. And Divine Feminine, these demons don't care that the karmic trying to date you. These demons gonna try to hurt you. Because it's like, it's, it's, um, it's like you guys are enemies to each other, like, on a spiritual level. So it's like Divine Feminine, you got light angels, the karmic got demons with them. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, you go somewhere with this karmic. The karmic's protection is going to try to harm you. So Divine Feminine, demons protect this karmic. Uh, God's loyal angels protect you. So this karmic might not get hurt, Divine Feminine. You might get hurt in this karmic energy. But my question is what I heard 
and logically my question to what to this karmic is do this karmic know that like do this karmic know that and trying to take you out on a date divine feminine they're not gonna attack the karmic they're gonna attack you divine feminine and that's why your angels telling you don't go because they ain't ready <laughs> Because it's going to be a fight. <laughs> Divine Feminine, you trying to date this karmic. <laughs> and your protection and the karmic protection enemies to each other. Mm -mm. Divine Feminine, them demons going to tear you up. <laughs> or they going to try to. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic is a new lover to you. And this karmic probably didn't tell you that their family could be like devil worshippers or something. And that's why the karmic friends or something don't like you. So it's like, I'm wondering, is this karmic aware of this? And they, this karmic talking about they want to take you out on a date or something. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, all right, all right, what's going on with Divine Feminine? I also heard to ask you too, Divine Feminine, are you aware of this? <laughs> That's why I just heard to ask you too. <laughs> What's going on with the body feminine? The lovers. <clears throat> so divine feminine, you could be a Gemini or you're dealing with a Gemini or you got Gemini placement. Divine feminine, there's a need for you to make a decision after the hours tonight. Well, divine feminine, you just made a choice to go in reverse. Well, Divine Feminine, you just accepted your energy. So, Divine Feminine, if you can't get yourself together or you trying to do something to help this karmic and you can't do it, you just like, it's like you was you just accepting it and that's a wise choice you made to just accept something. Yeah, the force. So, Divine Feminine, you going to bed. <laughs> yeah. So, maybe, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you might choose to just go to bed. Or this karmic reached out to you, Divine Feminine, but you're not going to respond. So, Divine Feminine, you can be given this karmic, like, uh, the cold shoulder or the silent treatment, Divine Feminine. And that was a wise choice. <sighs> um, I'm also hearing voice. I don't know what you call that. But Divine Feminine, this karmic be wanting to hear your voice. Well, I don't know if this karmic do spell work on your throat chakra or something. So this could be something as simple as Divine Feminine, this karmic could be a lover or a potential lover. And this karmic call you and say, tell me you love me or tell me something good. Something this karmic be saying to you, Divine Feminine. Um, Divine Masculine, if you a rapper or something, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all what I heard intuitively. Somebody going, this karmic be saying to y'all, spit it to me or spit. So I know that that could be rapping. So I don't know who this karmic is. Um, Divine Masculine, if you a man and this karmic a female, you might feel awkward the way this karmic be talking to you or something. This karmic be like, spit it to me or something. Or go ahead and spit or something. It's like this karmic don't be being feminine. <laughs> She don't say, hey, Divine Masculine, how was your day? This karma be like, spit it to me. Go spit something or something on the phone. But um, I'm hearing that too. And it's like, Divine Masculine, you like, what do you, what do you mean? I'm not freestyling <laughs> or something. Yeah, something a little weird. 
So, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, y'all you, could be rappers or, like, singers or something. And maybe this karmic wanted you to freestyle for them. But for some of y'all, this karmic is your lover or potential lover. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you like... It's like when the karmic asks you to sing something or rap something, it's a little bit out of, like, order or something. Or it's the fact that this karmic a female and she... <sighs> something this karmic doing is awkward. And you, it's like you want this karmic to be your lover and this karmic acting like your homeboy or something. <laughs> this karmic talk about spit, spit to me or spit something. And Divine Masculine, you like, um, no. <laughs> something. Or something like that. <clears throat> Divine Masculine, for some of you guys, if you like a rapper or something, be careful of this karmic. This karmic could be a man. And this karmic could be stealing from you. And you think this karmic your friend and maybe you let this karmic listen to your songs or whatever. This karmic might steal from you. If this karmic a female and she be asking you to spit something for her. This karmic probably like a secret enemy to you. It's like she go back or she record you for like another man or she go back and tell this man your freestyles or something like that. This karmic. Yeah. So, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, y'all can have a lover and y'all cheating on y'all lover with this karmic. Y'all being a player. But it's like Divine Masculine, after dark, I was tonight. If y'all was supposed to go meet up with this karmic, y'all not. It's like y'all going to bed. It's like you don't want to be a player. Some of you guys, it's something that this karmic say to you that's going to turn you off. And you like, I'm not going over there to have sex with that karma. And she talking about spit it to me or spit something or something, or something like that. Y'all might be turned off by this karma. Yeah. So it's like y'all, y'all healing from being a player. For some of you guys, divine masculine or divine feminine, y'all not in the mood to do something. And this can even be che to cheat. It's like y'all just not in that mood. And this karmic, like, could be trying to pressure you to let you be there. They want to be your third party or something. And you like, I just don't feel like doing that right now or something like that. I also just heard too, if y'all already have kids by this karmic, or in the future when y'all have if y'all have kids by this karmic, what spirit wants y'all to know is this karmic is very childlike. This karmic is childish. And the karmic is in like a secret competition with y'all child. Whether you have kids by this karmic or you have kid the karmic around your children, this karmic is in some type of secret competition with your child. So that's what that can be, that energy I picked up on. So this is not childlike. This is not innocence. This is childishness. Whatever this karmic, uh, the energy, this, this is childish. What's going on with this karmic? Yeah, the two of wands. Yeah, this karmic patience and planning, trying to figure something out. So this karmic trying to keep you from healing, or this karmic trying to figure out how to get you up out, out your bed, or to get you to talk to them or something, or this karmic could be trying to keep you from healing. But um, Divine Feminine, for most of you guys, it's too late. The karmic's patience and planning, you already four swords. So y'all already healed or something like that. Or oh, this karmic thing, just because you heal, you're going to get back in a karmic cycle with them. And it's like divine feminine, you like, no, I'm not. So y'all could have just got out of a karmic cycle with this karmic. Or you just got out of a karmic cycle, divine feminine. 
in the same karmic cycle you just got out get, got out of the karmic trying to put you back in the same type of karmic cycle so it's like a different karmic but the same karmic energy and it's like divine feminine y'all going in reverse you like nah ain't that much creativity in the world or something So this comment being patient, this comment waiting on y'all. <laughs> yeah. The world. Yeah. Yeah. This comment wants some type of success with you or at your expense. Divine Feminine, this karma could be waiting on you to go online. The world could be the world wide web. So y'all could also be communicating with this karmic on the date and that and the karmic is waiting for you to respond or divine feminine maybe you were supposed to go live with this karmic and you might choose not to or something so maybe the karmic wanted to go live with you or something something like that or y'all be chatting with this karmic on the, like a date and that Or, like I said, Divine Feminine, what could also be going on, the karmic could be preparing something. So, Divine Feminine, say like this karmic said, I got a potion for you. Or I got something to help you. It's like Divine Feminine, the karmic at home preparing something for you. And the karmic is waiting on you. But Divine Feminine, you made a decision to do, to like heal naturally or whatever you did. Or you went to sleep or something, Divine Feminine. Or it's like you already healed, so you don't need the karmic help or something. Or this is like divine feminine. This is like you getting off of work. And the karmic telling you to come to the studio and you just got off of work. And the karmic waiting on you. And divine feminine, you like, I'm going to bed. I just got off of my my job, my regular traditional job. I'm not going into the studio after our hours tonight or something like that. So Divine Feminine, y'all could be Geminis or Fire Signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This karma could be a Fire Sign, uh, a Capricorn, and Aquarius. If this karmic did like spell work on the on like the wolf moon, the wolf moon was January 25th. This karmic could have did some type of spell work for you or on you, Divine Feminine, during the wolf moon. Yeah, the tower. Yeah. Yeah. Something might happen to the karmic's uh maybe Wi-Fi or devices or electronics or something. So I heard Divine Feminine, Mercury Retrograde is going to work in your favor. This karmic might experience some type of like hindrance, a technical hindrance. Or this karmic might be shocked that um, you not, you're not going to respond to them or interact with them. I just heard intuitively, Divine Feminine, the karmic is going to be shocked that you failed them. You failed them, Divine Feminine, but it's a good thing. It's for your protection. You failed this karmic divine feminine. Yeah. <coughs> so divine feminine, say like you were supposed to do something for this karmic and you messed up. It's like divine feminine, you feel bad because you messed up. But it's like Divine Feminine, you saying, you know what? I feel bad, but I don't even care. Because the karmic family and friends don't even treat me right. Or something like that. So 
So the right feminine, maybe this karmic was saying that they'll protect you or watch over you. But it's like the right feminine, this karmic wasn't treating you right. Or this karmic used to let their friends or their family abuse you or something or mistreat you or disrespect you or something. So divine feminine, you could be healing because this karmic was your third party or you're healing because you could have found out the karmic put you in a third party. You could have been a third party. So it's going to be a tower moment to this karmic patience and planning to like close out a cycle or get some type of excess success at your expense or with you. It's a tower moment to the karmic patience and planning to like travel or maybe you were supposed to travel with this karmic. The world could also be traveling. So divine feminine, whatever you were supposed to do with this karma, it's like a tower moment. So some type of success. Um, the world can also be like an upgrade or promotion of some sort. So it's like divine feminine. If you was this karmic's girlfriend, the world energy would be you stepping up. And like becoming a karmic's wife or something like that. It's like the world. But it's a tower moment. So the karmic wanted to have an upgrade with you or at your expense. And it's going to be a tower. Or the karmic could have been planning it to try to cause you a tower. Divine feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic don't mean you don't mean you no harm, but this karmic would have caused you harm pertaining to like the spiritual realm. And for other you guys, this karmic knew what they was doing. This tower could be something good. Like divine feminine, this karmic wanted to propose to you. Or maybe this karmic just wanted to have sex with you and you wanted to, you you probably would want to have sex with the karmic too. But it's like divine feminine, you tired. So maybe the karmic wanted to make you feel better or whatever. Or this karmic wanted to propose to you or something. But something is just not meant to be. Like period or like after our hours tonight. Clarify the, do I want to, clarify the lovers? Yeah, temperate, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, whatever decision you made after the hours tonight, it was for your protection. Divine Feminine, your earth angel, this karmic is not. For some of you guys, this karmic is like your business partner of some sort. Divine Feminine, you and this karmic is two different people. If y'all work in the same place, y'all got two different backgrounds or you and this karmic is two different people divine feminine you are earth angel this karmic is not divine feminine your protection care about you the karmic protection don't care about this karmic <coughs> So divine feminine is by the grace of God that you a Gemini or whatever decision you made is by the grace of God temperance or your angels fix the situation to where you went in reverse or something. So something was like a blessing in disguise. Clarify the four swords. Yeah, the four wands. Yeah. Or divine feminine, this karmic wanted to date you, but this karmic is your false twin. And divine feminine, you and this karmic not compatible. And um, divine feminine, in your energy, your angels are saying you do not have to go through this karmic cycle with this karmic. Because you are divine feminine. And you don't have to deal with this karmic. I don't care if you got debt to pay off or not. Your angels is like, absolutely not. If divine feminine got to pay down karmic debt, it's not going to be with this karmic or something like that. So, Divine Feminine, you stable. Um, this confirming you a Divine Feminine. 
divine feminine, you could already have your divine masculine in your energy. And this karmic could be flirting with you or trying to date you. And divine feminine, you don't need this karmic. Or y'all, like I said, y'all married. And y'all could be married to y'all twin. I don't think, I don't know if y'all was contemplating divorcing y'all twin for this karmic or something. Or divine feminine, this karmic wanted you to spend the night. But it's like, you might fall asleep at work or you gonna fall asleep at home. This karmic probably wanted you to travel to them. To stay the night with them or something. Or you and this karmic was going to be up all night working. And you like, no, I'm going home to take a nap or something. Clarify the night of wands. Yeah, the six of wands here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Divine Feminine, when you was interacting with this karmic, this knight of wands energy in the past, or Divine Feminine, your lover could have been cheating on you with this karmic. Or Divine Feminine, you was cheating. But whatever you was doing in this Knight of Wands energy, Divine Feminine, something was brought to your attention about this karmic and you had to heal. Whatever you was doing in this Knight of Wands energy, Divine Feminine, you could have been doing this four weeks ago. But when you got in your Knight of Wands energy and you was interacting with this karmic or you had a conversation with this karmic, Something was brought to your attention about this karmic. Or it's like divine feminine. You could have a victory in something, but you didn't tell this karmic. And the angels is telling you, don't tell this karmic. Don't tell this karmic. Or something. So, Divine Feminine, you could have also already got a victory. So, it's like, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you already got a victory. So, it's like, you don't need this karmic or you don't have to work as hard as this karmic wants you to work or something. <clears throat> yeah. So, something was either brought to your attention when you got in that Knight of Wands energy in the past. Or Divine Feminine, you got some type of victory that your angels don't want you to tell this karmic. Or something. Or they don't want you to share it with this karmic or something. Clarify the two of wands for this karmic. Ooh. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, this karmic want to tell you who you is. And Divine Feminine, I see it now. Divine Feminine, you not arguing with this karmic. Divine Feminine, you already know who you is. It was already brought to your attention who you are. And this karmic like, uh-uh, no. I will watch over you. Or I'm your twin. I'm your twin. And Divine Feminine, you was like, you know what? I'm not arguing with you, karmic. So for some of you guys, Divine Feminine, this karmic... Or this karmic friends, the karmic's friends or the karmic's family, there was a disagreement. And Divine Feminine, you like, I am not arguing with you about me or my stuff. So Divine Feminine, you just four swords. Because this karmic is adamant about something, Divine Feminine. And you like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. So this karmic is saying, oh, you need me or something. So Divine Feminine, this karmic think you playing with them. And they still waiting on you. Yeah, Divine Feminine, this karmic is really wa waiting on you. Or something. So the Three of Wands, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, I don't know if this karmic could be like your ex or your lover. And um, this karmic could be trying to force an issue. This karmic could be trying to cross boundaries. So, Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where you told the karmic, we can date karmic, but my child has a mother or my child has a father. So, you don't have to be a parent. 
to my child. And this karmic is like, I don't care what you say. Uh, something this karmic could have said, they talking about watching over you or something. And Divine Feminine, you was like, mm-mm. Or something like that. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic was trying to tell you that um somebody was going to hurt you. So this karmic was trying to tell you your parents was trying to hurt you. Or like your child's mother or child's father or your husband or wife was trying to hurt you. Or something. So I heard make it make sense. So Divine Feminine, when you was talking to this karmic, this karmic was trying to convince you that somebody was trying to hurt you. And Divine Feminine, you could have been like, no, I don't think that's true. And this karmic was trying to force the issue and talking about, oh, I watch over you. I do some spell work. I do this. But something this karmic was doing. Um, But it's like Divine Feminine, you could have been with, hanging out with this karmic or talking to this karmic. And this comment was trying to tell you that somebody is trying to hurt you. But it's like Divine Feminine, when you was with the karmic, it's like Divine Feminine, you saying, how are you trying to protect me from the people that I see every day when I'm sitting here with you and you not trying to protect me from the people I don't see every day? So it's like Divine Feminine, the karmic's friends or family could have been doing something to you. And the karmic ain't, didn't do nothing. But it's like the karmic trying to tell you somebody in your energy is trying to hurt you or something. Something like that. <laughs> something I heard make it make sense, karmic. Something this karmic was trying to convince you of. And Divine Feminine, you like, no. No. So Divine Feminine, this is a situation where this karmic Divine Feminine, say like you got a lover or you married and you mess around with this karmic. This karmic your third party. It's like Divine Feminine, in the past, you could have caught your twin cheating. But it's like, you know, if anything happened, worse come to worse, your twin is going to protect you. Like, you know that firsthand, Divine Feminine, through experience. <laughs> Divine Feminine, this karmic trying to prove to you that they are better lover than your twin. When Divine Feminine, you could have been in a situation to where you was with the karmic and the karmic lover approached you. And it's like the karmic, like, just let they lover, like, attack you or something like that. And you saying to the karmic, why do you want me to leave my twin when my twin has proven to me that they protect and provide for me? But I was with you a while back and your lover confronted me and you said nothing. You just sat there and, and let your lover confront me or something. Or something like that. Or something, if this is pertaining to business, something could be going on with a contract. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic saying you need their professional advice. But it's like Divine Feminine, when you went to the karmic, it's like maybe the karmic's employers or something was being rude to you or something. And this karmic talking about, I'll watch over you. But when you went to the karmic to get like help or their advice, it's like the karmic stuff wasn't even in order. So you like, how can you advise me to put my stuff in order when I came to you for order Almost got hurt or something like that. Or something. It's like Divine Feminine, you don't trust this karmic. Clarify um the world. Yeah, death. Yeah, it's just yeah. So Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted something. Divine Feminine, this karmic probably wanted you to let go of your contract or let go of your stability. And this karmic wanted you to trust them. Like this karmic was like, this is the type of energy the karmic was saying. Break your lease, Divine Feminine, and move in with me. I'll take care of you. And Divine Feminine, you like, 
why would I break my lease and move in with you when your wife live upstairs or your ex-girlfriend live upstairs and she be trying to fight me or something like that? It's like this karmic was patient and planning on how to get some type of success with you and to cause something to end. This karmic was trying to successfully cause an ending or some type of transformation. But it's five wands here. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic is somebody who was trying to help you, but they can't even help themselves. Because really, Divine Feminine, to a certain extent, this karmic, in some shape, form, or fashion, is your competitor. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic is friends with, like, an enemy of yours. This karmic could be friends with an enemy of yours, of some sort. There's five of wands here in this karmic energy. So Divine Feminine. I heard this karmic said that they wanted to show you some love. This karmic was saying they wanted to show you some love. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted to get you pregnant or something. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic could already have a female pregnant. Or something. So Divine Feminine, I don't know if this karmic wanted you to move in with, with them. But it's like the karmic could have had like another woman living with him and this female pregnant. And you like, why would you want me to divorce my husband, my twin, move in with you? And you got that girl sitting there and she pregnant or something. Something crazy this karmic wanted you to do, Divine Feminine. This karmic wanted you to do something little crazy. Clear by this tower. Or Divine Feminine, if um Divine Feminine, if you're used to operating a boat and this karma operate trains or something you don't operate. Divine Feminine, this karmic was trying to tell you that they'll teach you off the books how to operate something. And Divine Feminine, you like, but for what? I don't want to, I don't want to learn how to ride no train. So why are you making a big deal out of me learning how to drive a train? <laughs> or something, this karmic crazy. This karmic was making a big deal out of something. Or something, something a little odd or weird. This karmic was making a big deal out of. It's like divine family. You saying why we just can't go on a normal date? Why do you want me to operate a train? <laughs> something crazy. Or this karmic wanted you to fly an airplane or something, and you like do your boss know you got me in this airplane? The karmic like no, I will watch over you. Divine family, you like no or something. So, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, this karmic wanted you to do something a little underhanded. Or, Divine Feminine, you can, you do something, and this karmic wanted you to teach them. And, Divine Feminine, uh-uh. <laughs> so, Divine Feminine, maybe you drive planes, or you a pilot, or you ride boats or something. Or, this, or Divine Feminine, you be on cruise ships. And maybe this karmic wanted you to uh, get them a free ticket or sneak them on the boat or something. Mm -mm. Something this karmic wanted you to do. Clear by this towel. Yep, the seven of swords, yeah. So this karmic was lying, cheating, and stealing, and trying to get away with something. Or this is what the karmic was planning to do. So Divine Feminine, if you were supposed to interact with this karmic after our hours tonight, this karmic was planning on lying to you about something. 
but you're not going to conversate with the karmic. So it's like, yeah, this karmic was going to lie to you. And I also heard Divine Feminine. The karmic was going to lie to you. Something was going to happen. And Divine Feminine, what the karmic was going to say was, oh, you called me. I didn't call you. Something. So Divine Feminine, this karmic waiting on you. This karmic is waiting on you. And it's like when you, if you would have initiated contact with this karmic, this karmic was going to lie to you. Something was going to happen. And then Divine Feminine, this karmic was like, you call me or something. Something this karmic was planning on saying. So Divine Feminine, you creative in reverse and you full swords in. Something like that. So it's a tower moment to this karmic lying, cheating, still and trying to get away with something. And this karmic was planning on lying to you anyway or stealing from you. Or divine feminine, this karmic wanted you to lie for them. This karmic wanted you to steal or lie for them or steal something from them. I mean, for them. Something this karmic wanted you to do. You and this karmic was bumping heads about something. And divine feminine, you turned your back because something was illuminated. Yeah. So I'm hearing that energy, divine feminine. You in the type of energy of um, like when people say fool me once, but not twice or something. So the my feminine, this karmic got you once, but you ain't letting this karmic get you a second time. Or divine feminine, whatever this karmic energy is, you're familiar with it. So you ain't, you ain't dealing with it. Whatever this karmic energy is. Yeah. Divine feminine, you bump your heads with this karmic and you told this karmic, I'm not, I'm not going back and forth with you. Yeah, and Divine Feminine, you turning your back. You turned your back. Because Divine Feminine, something has already been illuminated to you. Divine Feminine, you are awakened. So you're very aware of something. You ain't arguing with this karmic. You're not arguing with this karmic. Divine Feminine, it could have been illuminated that it's time for you to say goodbye to this karmic. Because you could have been fed up. Because this karmic could be shady. Or this karmic wanted you to do something shady. Or this karmic wanted you to believe that somebody in your energy who's not shady. This karmic wanted you to believe that an innocent person was shady. In reality, it's the karmic who's shady. Or ain't got no damn sense. Yeah, this karmic could have been trying to sweet talk you. But it's like the whole time this karmic was doing something with secret accounts. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted you to do something with some type of secret accounts. <clears throat> so Divine Feminine, this karmic probably wanted you to hack something for them. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, you could work for um, IT, some type of technology. And this karmic wanted you to do something for them. Yeah. What's going on with Divine Feminine with the Lovers and Temperance? Yeah, a love child. So, Divine Feminine, you can have a love child with your twin. Or you can have a love child with this karmic. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted to have a love child with you. But it was going to end in, in, in a disaster. Or something. So something going on with a love child. Or like I said, Divine Feminine, you realize that this karma wants you to treat them like a baby or something. <laughs> and you like, uh-uh. <laughs> What's going on with the four swords and the four wands? Divine Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, I just saw in the cards that this karmic is not even worth arguing with or competing with. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you not even going to seven of wands this karmic. You ain't trying to get one up over this karmic. 
Yo, no, it's just a no. Or whatever this is. Police station. Lord have mercy. Divine Feminine, you could have kids by this karmic. Divine Feminine, maybe the karmic wanted you to drop the kids off to them. And you like, no, I'll meet you at the police station. Or something. Or something like that. So maybe y'all don't like going to this karmic house or something. Oh, so that's what the argument could have been about. Y'all could have kids together. And Divine Feminine, you like... Divine Feminine, y'all can all something could already be in order or something is court ordered between you and this karmic. And this karmic, like, I'll watch over you. You like, no, police station. Because you the reason why we in this situation now. So, no, police station. You ain't watching over me or something. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, you had to heal in the past. Something happened at the police station or you ended up at a police station because of this karmic. And you like, no, I remember what happened. I remember I ended up at a police station fooling with you. <clears throat> or something. Or this karmic could have attacked y'all twin, this karmic. And this karmic wants you to reconcile with them. This karmic is trying to convince you that it's somebody that y'all should not trust. Or this karmic could be a little crazy. So it's like divine feminine. This karmic could have like did overkill like on your child. And the karmic was like, I'm protecting you from the baby. And you like the baby is the, how you protecting me from the baby? The baby is the baby. <laughs> And this karma like, no, I'm trying to watch over you. Lord have mercy. Yeah, you could have had a love child by this karma. <sighs> this karma can have mental health issues. So it's like divine feminine. This karma think is you and them against the world, but the world is the baby. Or something like that. Um, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you could have known this karmic for years and you know something wrong with this karmic. This karmic has changed or got worse over the years. Y'all could have had a love child with this karmic a long time ago. And Divine Feminine, the child that you had by this karmic could be older. And the karmic is trying to make you think that maybe y'all child a demon or something, or this karmic going overboard with something, or this karmic going around telling people that your child, y'all child, y'all had together trying to kill you or something. Something this karmic doing a little crazy. Or something. What's going on with the Knight of Wands? In the six of one. Yeah. Yeah. So divine feminine, if you cussed this karmic out in the past and you made this karmic feel like shit, divine feminine, you not doing that. You not doing that. Mm mm. Um, or divine feminine in the past when you got that knight of wands energy. The karma made you feel like shit. Or divine feminine in the past. You could have rebuked this karmic divine feminine for some of you guys. You gonna stay away from this karmic. Divine feminine or divine masculine. Especially divine masculines. Y'all could have already hurt this karmic. Y'all hurt this karmic already. Um, And this karma is still trying to offend you. So, you guys might make a decision to just stay away from the karmic before, like, somebody end up deceased. Like, something like that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Y'all already did something to this. Y'all could have made this karmic for, like, shit already. 
Or when you knight a wand, does karmic does karmic make you feel like shit? So I don't know if this karmic was flirting with y'all in the past. I just tasted liquor. Something going on with liquor and drinks. Something could have happened in a social setting. Um this is like cocktails. Um this is like the karmic flirting with you. And you finally give in to the karmic. And the karmic go back and tell your lover that they slept together. It's like the karmic made you feel like shit. When you was being a player. But it's like the karmic was flirting with you. Or something. <clears throat> I also see the karmic could be jealous as well. Um, divine feminine, divine masculine. Y'all could have a child by the karmic, but y'all also have a child by your twin. So the karmic want to compete or the karmic could be jealous or something. So y'all could have a, had a love child by, with y'all twin, but y'all also have a child with the karmic too. <sighs> So this karmic is like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. divine feminine, this karmic probably talk about your love child, like a dog. So it's like divine masculine. You could have had a baby by your divine feminine and you had a child by your, this karmic. But when you go on this karmic energy for whatever reason, this karmic talk shit about your, your baby that you had by another woman. I mean, talking shit too. So you know something wrong with this karmic to talk about a child like this, the way this karmic talking. I mean, it's not wrong with the karmic cussing you out or cussing your divine feminine out. But to talk shit about an innocent child, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on with this karmic with uh, the two of wands with the three of wands? Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. This karmic was trying to convince y'all to say goodbye to somebody. Yeah. Yep. But this karmic in reality is your competitor. On the 3D or the 5D. So I'm going to give an example. Divine Feminist, say like you work for the light. And you only interact with, like, the the angels of the light. This karmic wanted to teach you how to, like, conjure demons or worship, like, demons or something. And Divine Feminine, you like, no, or something like that. What's going on with the world with death? What's going on with the world with the death? Yeah, running. You know, maybe this Carmen wanted y'all to run away together. 
Maybe this woman wanted you to abandon your twin or abandon your children or your child. Or this karmic was trying to take you somewhere to hurt you or probably even like a murder-suicide. And you was going to leave your love child behind. So this karmic wanted y'all to run away together. Or this karmic was planning on hurting you and then telling everybody you like ran away or something. So the comment wanted you to say goodbye to a person, place, or thing that you should not be saying goodbye to. Um, and like run off with them. Because this comment was trying to convince you that they would watch over you. Or they're like your protection. You're one and only. You ain't protected if it ain't. This comment was trying to convince you that if you don't, if you're not protected by them, then you're not protected or something. Or this comment was trying to convince you that they're the only one who love you or something. Or that they're your twin when in reality they're your they're your false twin. And this comment made you feel like shit. And you like, how can you say that you're going to watch over me when last time I was in your energy, you made me feel like shit? Or something. <laughs> or something. And what's going on with the tower with the seven of swords? Yeah, under pressure. Yeah, this karma wanted to push you, put you under pressure. Anxiety decisions, time's running out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This comment wanted you to think time was running out. Somebody was going to hurt you. Um, Making you think somebody was going to hurt you. Wasn't nobody going to hurt you but this comment. So, like I said, this comment wanted y'all to think that y'all own child was going to hurt you. Or your twin was going to hurt you. Or whoever you had this love child by. The karmic wanted you to think that this person was going to hurt you. Or something. But it's like Divine Feminine. Y'all saying no, no, no. Because when I was with you, that's how I ended, at, ended up at the police station. Or something. Or something. <sighs> What's the spill with this love child? Yeah, distorted masculine. Yeah. So the comic was trying to prove that somebody you had a love child by was the distorted masculine. The karmic could have did something to somebody's child and was trying to say that their own father did it, did it. This karmic could have did something to somebody. And tried to say that their own uh, biological father did something. So the karmic was trying to prove that somebody's a distorted masculine. Divine Feminine, if you had a household and you raised this love child, the karmic was trying to prove something that wasn't true. So this karmic could have been trying to prove that your love child is a distorted masculine and it's not true. And Divine Feminine, you saying my child was raised with love. My child is a love child. My child is not a distorted masculine or something. Oh, this comment was trying to say this about your parents, your child, or you or something. Because I heard the karmic is jealous because the karmic is the orphan. And the karmic is jealous of this love child. Divine feminine, divine masculine, y'all could be a love child. And this karmic got orphan issues or something. Or... This karmic wanted y'all to like neglect your own child for their child. 
And it's like, for some of y'all, the karmic child, not even your child. It's something. It's karmic. Mm -mm. What's the spill with police station? Nosy. <laughs> yeah. All up in your business, asking too many questions, wanting every single detail. Yeah, this karmic did something to somebody in the past. This karmic did something to y'all. And then this karmic was like, what happened? This karmic did something. Um, The karmic could have called the cops on some of y'all. And it was the karmic. And the karmic was sitting there like they didn't do nothing. This karmic did something. Yeah, the karmic was all up in your business asking too many questions, wanting every single detail. I also heard Divine Feminine. If y'all end up in a situation after the hours tonight and y'all end up at a police station, y'all still don't need this karmic's help. Mm -mm. No. Because you guys are stable. You don't need this karmic help. So this karmic is offering y'all some type of healing, but you don't need this karmic's help. I'm going to give an example. Divine Feminine, say like you end up at a police station and like a detective is taking your statement. This karmic is going to walk up to you. Um, I heard this karmic is like an off brand. So the karmic could be like a competitor of like the police department. And this karmic going to give you their business card and say, don't talk to the police. You You can come and talk to me. But it's like this karmic not even like a professional. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Something is karmic. This karmic is somebody's competitor. So I'm going to give another example. This is like the karmic. <laughs> Say like the karmic is like a, a medicine man or a medicine woman or whatever. This is like the karmic will be at like a emergency room posted up and people that come in there sick for like traditional medical treatment, the karmic will be like, take my business card. You don't need to be at this emergency room. I got everything you need to heal you. Like something like that, this karmic be doing. Like something. So if y'all end up at a police station and this karmic do not work at this police station, this karmic is not a detective. And this karmic give you a business card or something. Don't call this karmic. Because this karmic is somewhere, but they're somebody's competitor. And that's like the tackiness. The karmic is like out of order. The karmic is like out of order. Because it's like if you spiritual, you, you know, you spiritual. It's like the karmic is going somewhere, but the karmic is like somebody's competitor. Or, Divine Feminine, this karmic is your competitor and trying to pose as your friend or something. Or something this karmic doing, like, sneaky. I heard wicked. This karmic could be like a fake lawyer or... It's like this karmic is at the police station and like, oh, I'm a lawyer. I can help you. But it's like Divine Feminine, if you call this karmic, this karmic going, uh-uh. This karmic is like somebody's competitor. And this karmic is somewhere that they're not supposed to be. This karmic somewhere they're not supposed to be. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, something like that going on. Yeah, having receipts. Yeah. So, the Divine Feminine, you're not impressed by this karmic. Or this karmic really not impressed by you. This karmic want to watch you or keep an eye on you or something. This karmic be stalking you. Or the Divine Feminine, you're dealing with a stalker and you could be trying to find out who keep offending you. It's this karmic. And this karmic gonna walk up to you and ask you, do you need help or something? And this karmic, the one that be stalking you. <sighs> so, 
So, Divine Feminine, I heard. Do you remember this karmic? Divine Feminine, you could have offended this karmic and you don't remember this karmic, but this karmic remember you. And this karmic want to prove a point at your expense. So, I'm going to give an example. Divine Feminine, say like when you was in middle school or high school, you could have been a Christian and this karmic could have been a different religion. And Divine Feminine, in school, when y'all was younger, the karmic wanted to date you. And Divine Feminine, you said, uh, you and the karmic could have been talking. But Divine Feminine, you could have told the karmic, oh, you know, I'm Christian or I'm this, I'm that. I can't date you. You know, my parents say I can't date you. Divine Feminine, this karmic been stalking you for a long time. And they're trying to prove a point at your expense. Because you could have offended this karmic like innocently. Or something. Or this karmic, divine feminine, if you, if this karmic your third party. <clears throat> mm, this karmic could be secretly trying to get revenge on you. As well, something like that. What's this bill with feeling like shit? Yeah, one side of love. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's like Divine Feminine. Whenever you got in that Night of Wands energy, you made the karmic... It's like Divine Feminine, you was trying to get your point across. And you made the karmic feel like shit. And you wanted the karmic know that the love was going to always be one-sided. Or, it's like this karmic befriended you, and then when you got in the karmic energy, the karmic makes you feel like shit. And you knew, Divine Feminine, that the love was one-sided, and the karmic ain't care for you like that. Or something like that. Something like that. So, let me see when the Knight of Wands energy happened. Spirit, when did that Knight of Wands energy happen? When was Divine Feminine in that Night of Wands energy? I'm going to pull three. So, eight months ago. So, eight months ago, Divine Feminine, you could have offended this karmic, or you got into it with this karmic, or you was cheating on your lover with this karmic, or you was doing some type of business with this karmic eight months ago. Give me another one. When did Divine Feminine get in that Night of Wands? Some of you guys, it could have been yesterday, 24 hours ago. Um, I heard with the Page of Wands, I heard at the beginning of Aries season, so March 20th. No, no. When is Aries season? March 21st. So it was the beginning of Aries season that you was in that Night of Wands interview with this karmic. For some of you guys, this page of wands is 24 hours ago. I heard intuitively, you was the night of wands, the beginning of every season. So I think that's March 20th or March 21st. Whew. Give me another one, Spirit. Okay, for other you guys, it was Capricorn season. So for some of you guys, Somebody made somebody feel like shit eight months ago. For other you guys, the beginning of every season or 24 hours ago. And another group of you guys, it was uh, sometime during Capricorn season. That somebody made between you and this karmic, somebody made somebody feel like they, was, they wasn't shit. Or somebody made somebody feel like shit. But after Dark Hours Tonight, Divine Feminine, you like, no. I don't want to make you feel like shit, and I'm not going to let you make me feel like shit. So, I'm going to four of swords. So, it's like Divine Feminine, you trying to bring peace to a situation, and this karmic want to dominate you, or like cause war or something, or prove a point. And you like, no. And Divine Feminine, your angels is like, no. Or something like that. So, it's like Divine Feminine, you saying, I didn't come here. 
for you to make me feel like shit. Or I didn't come here to make you feel like shit. I don't want to do that. I don't like making people feel like they ain't shit. Or something. <laughs> so the white feminine, y'all definitely earth angels. You like, no, that's not what I do. I don't enjoy doing that. Or oh, this Carmen want to compete with you or something? Or argue with you about religion? And the wife family, you like, no. Or something like that? Mm-mm. So, yeah. Divine Feminine, you guys are truly Earth Angels. And Divine Feminine, whatever the difference is, is between you and this karmic, you you not around for, like, the arguing, the going back and forth, the tit for tat. Whatever this is, whether the karmic want to date you or this karmic a business partner, there's a difference. There's the difference between you and this karmic. And Divine Feminine, you like, no. No. I got other things to do than to sit there and go back and forth with you and make and we sit up there and make each other feel like shit. No. Or something like that. So I'm gonna end it there. So did I bring my advice deck? No. Um, hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna pull an advice for this energy. All right. Oh, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, the karmic could have been trying to get y'all to do something so that the karmic could prove a lie to be true that they told on you. This karmic was trying to get y'all to do something so they could actually prove a lie that they told on you. Because this karmic was trying to prove that some of you guys are a distorted masculine or this karmic was trying to prove that your child or your child's mother or your child's father or your parents are distorted masculine. So this karmic was trying to get y'all to do something. So I'm hearing whatever this karmic, who, who, this karmic was trying to prove somebody a distorted masculine. I'm hearing the first time Divine Feminine, you got in that Knight of Wands energy. What the karmic wanted to expose didn't really get exposed. So after that, I was tonight. Or recently, the karmic was trying to get you to do something to like successfully ex expose something or make their lie appear to be true or something. So for some of y'all, this karmic tried to do this to y'all again 24 hours ago, eight months ago. Or they've been working, trying to deceive you for eight months, 24 hours and um what was the other one? Oh, the beginning of uh airy season and this karmic trying you again after i was tonight and it's like divine feminine you're not responding this karmic trying to prove something i don't know if this karmic wants you over the phone and want you to say something or something or this karmic wants you to come to their house or something this karmic trying to prove something all right give me advice for divine feminine dealing with this karmic Okay, change. So, Divine Feminine, your advice is to understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So, like I said, <laughs> Divine Feminine, your advice is to realize that you already got a victory in something and you don't need this karmic. So, Divine Feminine, when you got in the Knight of Wands energy, even though you made the karmic feel like shit or you let the karmic make you feel like shit, something was actually like growth or evolve evolvement for you, whether you realize it or not. So, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you have some type of victory, but Spirit wants you to change your perspective, or y'all don't realize something yet. Spirit wants you to understand something, Divine Feminine. Some type of rejection is actually for your protection. So, 
So for some of you guys, the karmic is trying to get in touch with you, trying to convince you you still need to grow or you still got some evolving to do. That's because they want to offend you. But Divine Feminine, I'm hearing everything in your life is perfect. Just the way it is right now, everything is perfect. Or for some of you guys, the karmic want to help you grow, but it's not meant for this karmic to help you grow. Because instead of this karmic helping you grow, this karmic is going to actually like cause you strife or something. Well, it's like divine feminine. Stop trying to help this karmic. Stop trying to help this karmic. It's not meant for you to help this karmic of some sort. Or it's not meant for you to get help from this karmic or something. Divine feminine, for some of you guys. It's something that you supposed to do with this karmic, even if it's to rebuke this karmic, but just not after the hours tonight. So divine feminine, for some of you guys, I heard maybe you feel like a punk or, but the, your angels don't want you to feel like that. Your angels don't want you to feel like that. It's not that you're being a punk or anything. It's just not the right time. Because I'm hearing, Divine Feminine, if you think this karmic is alone, they're not. So you and this karmic could be like spiritualists. This karmic not alone, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, your angels is telling you to wait. Because you're going to need their assistance. Whenever you do rebuke this karmic or co-parent with this karmic, whatever this is, <coughs> Divine Feminine, wherever you're going towards this karmic, you can't go alone. That's why your angel's telling you to wait. You cannot do this by yourself. So that's what I'm picking up on. So Divine Feminine, not yet. Not yet. And don't take it personal. The chance for you to interact with this karmic is, for some of you guys, it's going to happen. But when the angels say it's okay. Or something like that. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, it's not meant for you to grow or evolve right now. For some of you guys. Or I heard change your perspective or like get more information about something. That's your advice, Divine Feminine? Because for some of you guys, you are supposed to interact, interact with this karmic, but you shouldn't interact with this karmic alone. Because this karmic not alone. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you think this karmic one way, but this karmic could be like a Satan worshiper or something. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you didn't know that. You can't just show up at that karmic house or whatever this is. Because it's like, Divine Feminine, why the police station came out in your energy? Why you ended up at the police station? Or something like that. Yeah. All right. What's the karmic's advice? Nah, I ain't giving this karmic no more advice. This karmic ain't getting no advice. Because Divine Feminine, it could be something that this karmic know that you don't know. Or, um... It's something that the karmic friends or family know, Divine Feminine, that you don't know. And maybe even this karmic don't know. So, Divine Feminine, it's like your angel saying the karmic could be a fool. But Divine Feminine, it's like your angels, the angels trying to protect you. For some of y'all, this karmic don't know something, but their family or their friends know something. 
So this could be something like it's like divine feminine. Say like somebody cursed the karmic and the karmic don't know. And this karmic just interacting with you. But it's like divine feminine. The karmic's friends and family know they can't come at you directly, but they know you and the karmic connected. So they attach something to the karmic so the karmic can like do something to you or something like that. But some of you guys, I heard this karmic, like, I heard this karmic butt naked. So what I'm picking up from that is the karmic, no, for some of you guys, this karmic ain't no good. And this karmic, no, like, the butt naked truth, like, this karmic, no, was the, what the deal is. For other you guys, somebody is, like, using this karmic to offend you because they know they can't directly, like, offend you or something like that. Somebody could be doing conflict spells or something like that. <clears throat> so, Divine Feminine, maybe you don't know about conflict spells and this karmic do. Or maybe the you or the karmic don't know about conflict spells. But the karmic hanging out with somebody that know about conflict spells and divine feminine, somebody want to offend you. And they're trying to get you to go into karmic energy or trying to get the karmic to get you to come in their energy, like something like that. There's something like that going on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna end it. I've been on for two hours. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Okay. This is what spirits want me to do. I'm gonna pull in that advice for the karmics that's being used by like, their friends, their family. More than likely, the karmic is being used by their friend. Okay. All right. What's the karmic's advice if the karmic is not purposefully trying to cause harm to divine feminine? What's this karmic's advice? Perseverance. Yeah. This karmic could be under a spell, too. Yeah. Somebody put a spell on this karmic or something. And they're using the karmic to, like, offend you, divine feminine. So I'm I'm picking up it's like a maybe a war or something or like a split going on with the karmic. Cause somebody could have attached something to this karmic. So this karmic has to like per persevere. Cause it's like divine feminine. One one aspect of the karmic they know they not supposed to be offending offending you. But it's like the karmic can't help it. Because the karmic is under some type of, like, demonic influence or something. So, the karmic's advice is to know that they can do whatever they set their mind to. Or the karmic being a people pleaser. Or the karmic could, like, be weak. The karmic could have, like, a weak mind or weak spirit or something. Or the karmic, like, a people pleaser or something. And somebody could be putting this karmic under pressure to offend you. So the karmic's advice is the per perseverance. Yeah, the karmic should know that they can do whatever they set their mind to. Oh, divine feminine, for some of you guys, for the karmics that's not purposefully, mal maliciously offending you. Divine Feminine, whoever the karmic's friends are, they mistreat this karmic. And they tell the karmic that it's you mistreating the karmic. But it's not you. It's the karmic's friends. And 
in divine feminine, what the karmic do is come in your energy and project onto you. So it's like divine feminine. Somebody got this karmic mind so messed up that somebody, the karmic's friends make the karmic feel like they ain't shit. And then the karmic come in your energy and try to make you feel like you ain't shit. But the karmic friends tell the karmic, we didn't do it. Divine Feminine did it. We didn't do it. Divine Feminine, I don't know who the hell this karmic is. So the karmic needs to know that they can do whatever they set their mind to. So Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, this karmic could be starting to realize a little bit that their friends is lying to them and that you are earth angel or something. So the karmic is like what the karmic need to focus on is like leaving their karm their these friends alone. Whatever friends these is the karmic got. The karmic got some friends. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if the karmic's friends are humans or if the karmic friends could be demons. The karmic could be schizophrenic. It's like Divine Feminine, you are Earth Angel. And this karmic could be schizophrenic. So, friends. But it's like they're not really friends. Or something like that. Something tricky. Or something like that. It's this karmic. Or something. And that's why this karmic think that they like can watch over you or they have authority to watch over you. It's like, no. Or this karmic was doing something during a wolf moon back in January 25th. Is, is January 25th Capricorn season? Or is that uh, Aquarius? Yeah. This karmic was doing something around the wolf moon. Yeah. This karmic really thinks this karmic can have a god complex or something. Or like um maybe these demons or something make the karmic think that they're like a god or something. <laughs> or something, this karmic or something like that. Yeah, so this karmic could be schizophrenic for some of you guys. Divine Feminine, I don't know if y'all aware of it. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I don't know if y'all aware of it. So, it's like this karmic think you need help, but like in reality, they need help or something. Or something like that. So, yeah, so... So, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, y'all could be moving on, letting go, loving you free. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, um, what you, you could be free from this attack as well. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be moving on from you. Or you don't got to worry too much about this attack. As long as you just, like... Because Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, this karmic is not more powerful than you. This karmic can't do nothing to you that you won't allow the karmic to do to you. So it's like Divine Feminine, you free. Just don't talk to that karmic or something. I also heard Divine Feminine, the more you ignore this karmic or stay away from this karmic, that's like going to do a reversal or like break the spell or make this karmic come out of some type of illusion. Like when you don't argue with the karmic or something. Or something like that. <clears throat> so for some of y'all, this karmic really think that you're doing something to them. And it's not you. It's like the karmic's friends or something. Or like some demons or something that's in this karmic energy. Telling them something about you that's not true. Divine Feminine.
So this is Blood Queen Zero. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, Divine Feminine, enjoy um, the night and things.